10. This blog's pretty big. Um, we've been going now nine months. And we've been using the same camera for that period of time. Although it's high def and it's a fairly good camera, we've decided to upgrade to a commercial camera. Let's turn this one off. We'll say goodbye to it. It's been very good to us. But let's move on to bigger and better things. Okay, we're back. And what you're looking at, or what you're seeing here, is the new camera. It's um, a commercial um, camera that we've got. And now we're just going to show the arcade. Before we do that, before I show you the arcade room a little bit, we're going to switch on an external um, mic. Let's turn that on. We've got a body mic. This is actually studio great um, body mic. Yep. Yep, good. Yep, no problem. So we're just going through teething. We've got to do levels and all that, but we thought, look, we'll do it on blog 10, give it a bit of a tryout and see how it sounds up on YouTube. Um, I'll quickly run you through the arcade room. Um, I've got heaps of people going, I'll oh, show the arcade room. You showed your games room. It's almost there, so I'll just quickly take you on a quick run around it. I know Luke Morse wants to see it. So Luke, I'm quickly a um, bit of an arcade freak like myself. The two Naomi cabinets here, that's got um, Naomi 2 in it, got Marvel vs Capcom 2 playing on it. That's my gauntlet that I'm, I'm rebuilding, so that's just got to put some joysticks and give it a good clean up. This is mainly the machine I play on heaps. My, um, um, all my jammer games I usually play on this. Um, got my vertical games like Mercs is on that and um, this is just an old cabinet but it's really good for the uh, classic games. Just that feel about it, it's called a low boy, it's um, wood grain and all that, and that's, uh, yeah, good old ghouls and ghosts. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm sure you all remember this in episode two. Um, okay, super hang on. The bike's getting repainted at the moment, and that's gonna come out like brand new. Space Harrier, which is almost finished. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, heaps to do. I'm probably yelling at the moment because I'm not used to this microphone. Um, Outrun, I'm sure everyone remembers Afterburner. So, good old Afterburner. I got Power Drift behind that. Virtual Fighter 2. Alex loves Virtual Fighter 2. He's a Virtual Fighter nut. Nah. So, I almost, I pretty much did get this camera for you. So. Enduro Racer that's getting resurrected at the moment, and of course the two Daytona cabinets. And um, pretty much live on this game. You can challenge all your life, so it's a good game. You also notice around the room, uh, Jess has started putting up all my arcade flyers. Some are original, some are just printed from um, arcadeflyers.com. Um, they're all stagnant around the room because I didn't want them in any particular order. And what, what it is, most of it's um, the games I actually own on Arcade Board. Um, I've got so many, I don't even forget myself how many I've got. So it's like a big list. Instead of having it in writing, you want to, like you know, console games, you look at the game go, oh, yeah, I'm in the mood for this. Well, that's what I've done. So if I want to play Salamander, okay, oh yeah, I'm in the mood for that, or whatever it may be. This is, um, the bit that I've now um, taken up from the garage. And this is all all the room I've got left in my uh, work, workshop here. If you want to come come through, Alex, just as I'm um, sorting out my arcade boards. Yeah. Um, it's all my Capcom stuff. So basically, from when they began in 1984, Volgus was their first ever game, and then it goes from 1942, Sun Sun, etc., etc., etc. So that's it. Then it starts CPS 1. They're kind of in a weird order. I don't know what you're doing here, Jeff. <laughs> nah, it's okay. And um, yeah, so the CPS 2 stuff's starting to get put there. And so on. And then yeah, Data East, Konami, yeah, whatever. And then I'm getting other shelves put there. Um, come through, Alex. I'll just show. This is how the flyers are. So that's Street Fighter Alpha, Zero, Lead Storm, etc. So yeah, they're just going to get plastered everywhere. Um, my Neo Geo uh, cartridge games, the arcade games, got a few more of them and got plenty of Naomi stuff, but as I said, a lot, a lot more shelves have to get put up in here. So it's basically a storage room and also um, a work room. 
So, um, here's the Naomi, that's the Naomi 2, Naomi 1 um, board. Look at this, just a chip just fell out. And um, yeah, the GD ROM for the Naomi. Um, actually, I'll show you something. We've got down here a 720 um, arcade board, Skate or Die, is, if anyone knows that game. It also has another board under there. The board's probably pretty much that long. So it goes into the 720 arcade machine, but I just haven't got the room to store it at the moment. This is, um, if people might know, Heavy Barrel and, um, yeah, um, Akari Warriors and Guerrilla War and Midnight Resistance, what a classic. So when I want to play those games, I need to use this panel with that machine. But I've got another machine hopefully coming soon, a smaller machine. This will go on, so I'll have a machine purposely for, purposely for this and obviously just one for the old, real old classic like Ghost and Goblins and Black Tiger and all that. So this is it, this is where all my arcades are kept. That's the high scoreboard. Um, as you can see, we've still, still got to put more games, but um, yeah, we've just started, you know, having scoring competition and um, yeah, Alex and I have been uh, playing a lot of Ghost and Goblins and Ghouls and Ghosts. I know it's probably a pathetic score to everyone out there, but We've only just started, we're a bit rusty. We haven't, you know, haven't, um, haven't done much there yet. But yeah, so that's the scoreboard. And uh, that's pretty much it for the arcade room. It's going to be um, starting to get more developed over the next couple of weeks. So I might do a, a more comprehensive tour and just show how the machines move and work and something like that. Um, just some of the tips on restoring, like, um, what type of powder coating to use. People just go to powder coating places and just get the standard stuff, but that's not what, say, Seagull would use or anything like that. Anyway, um, just wanted to show you actually one more thing. It's a funny, sorry, Alex, run away from you. This is an Afterburner arcade board. It actually um, got it sent from America, um, a place I get my arcade boards from, Quarter Arcade. So I'll just give a shout out to those guys. They're so good. They're really, really good. And um, they, um, they're quarterarcade.com if you want to look them up. They have heaps of boards and just fantastic service, very prompt. But this one come in the post and it wasn't their fault. It, it, it looked like a truck run over the box when I got it. And um, it was leaving the airport and from America and that must have happened there. And anyway, got it, you know, insurance and all that. But yeah, I've always kept it, this afterburner and just memories of that. It's good for a few parts. There you go. All right, I'll uh, show you one more thing. We'll go to the games room inside um, and uh, just show you what the camera might look like in there. As I said, we're doing tests on it and just with the audio, just to see where we, um, how it sounds on YouTube. See you there. Okay, we're in the games room, a lot quieter in here. Uh, we're just doing a lighting test in here as well. So we may as well make it a part of blog uh, 10. Um, I'll just show you around the room. I've actually changed a few things. Um, here's my cabinet for my Game Boy stuff. I've got a lot of all the Game Boy colors, all the different colors and special editions and original Game Boys, different variations, and obviously the 3DS and the other special editions and all that. Started doing the shelf for my PC Engine stuff, so my cards, normal CD-ROM, Super, and then Arcade. Haven't put them all up yet. And Dreamcast, I've just started putting those up. Um, obviously, I've started Cryological Order, my NES games, Mars System, the Amiga Drive, Super Nintendo, all that, and so on. PlayStation 1, uh, Neo Geo, Neo Geo CD. I've got actually every Neo CD game, or the, the full library of that. There's not that many, not, not compared to cartridge. Um, this is my other cabinet. So it used to be like a library shelf, two shelves here. It was just too crampy in the room, especially when we're filming. So we're really trying to get that all organized. This is, um, like my shrine. I don't know what these N64 control pads are in there. I still haven't worked it out like Neo CDs in there. So, but the top stuff is like, you know, gold for me. Last Ninja is my favorite game, which you all probably worked out episode five is Last Ninja. Um, then Mega Drive on the, uh, Tetris on the Mega Drive. Saturn, Saturn games, Saturn library, N64. And what I've tried to do is keep the console boxes um, above the corresponding games. So yeah, my Saturn stuff and 
you know, you can't put, I can only put so much up there because I'm on N64, I've got that many different N64 variances. Oh, it's crazy. So I've just put the major colours like the gold and all that. Same with GameCube, that's a pearl GameCube, very rare. Um, it's really nice, like metallic pearl. It's only available in England, actually. Um, then comes across the Xbox, PlayStation 3, Wii, etc. And then here, I still don't know what I'm doing with this particular shelf here. I've just put just some Nintendo stuff and a couple of N64 stuff. I've got that much N64, I don't know what I'm going to do with it all. And yeah, finally, again, um, Amiga and 64 still working out this. I just need a lot more shelf space to try and. Yeah, but this is the pro progress I've come to. And yeah, it's been over a month and I'm still ironing out any uh, kind of flaws in the room. It's never going to be perfect, but better for filming. Anyway, thank you for watching. And um, just to let everyone know to visit the website, please, it's lastgamer.net. And please sign up. We want people to start up uh, for, in the forum topics, um, ask questions, etc., 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 etc. I've had a late night. So it's, um, well, it's about, what's the time now? About 11, 10 o'clock, something like that, 10.30 at night, Friday night. Um, but yeah, if you can jump on the website, lastgamer.net. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. We don't want any money. There's no you know, advertising or anything like that. Same with YouTube. We don't do ads. We're not after money. We just, we want to really get a bit of a community going there and, and tell us what you want us to look at, any reviews, particular games, whatever it may be. Um, and just sign up. It's real, real easy. And you, you'll be surprised. Pretty good website, I have to say. All right. Um, I'll see you on uh, episode five, which is The Last Ninja. Um, looking at all The Last Ninja games. And it'll be in about a couple of weeks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.